Now, for more on this, Talat Masood is a political analyst in Islamabad, and he joins us live now. Um, thanks for speaking to us on TRT World. Now, Imran Khan is expected to celebrate Pakistan's Independence Day in Pakistan-administered Kashmir. How significant is this, given the recent decision by India? Well, I think it's extremely significant in the sense that Pakistan has been committed uh, that uh, Kashmiri people would be given their right of self-determination ever since the creation of Pakistan. So I, I think it's a gross violation on the part of India uh, to have uh, sort of abrogated their commitment to the United Nations resolutions of the Security Council as well as their bilateral commitments at the Simla Agreement. So uh, I think uh, India has completely flouted not only international agreements, but also has uh, been so repressive uh, and oppressive in Kashmir that the people of Kashmir, and especially that uh, of the valley, have risen uh, against the Indian atrocities. Actually, India has been trying to uh, suppress the movement by uh, employing such a large number of military force. People say that it is more than 700,000 people. And before uh, this uh, uprising, they actually injected uh, another 35,000 okay. troops. I so want to if, ask uh, you... They were um, wanting the to improve Masood. the conditions in Kashmir. Yeah. Mr. Masood, I want to ask you about uh, the fact that Pakistan is calling yeah, for please. an urgent meeting of the United Nations Security Council. You briefly mentioned that. Um, do you think that meeting will happen? Yeah, I think it, it is possible that, you know, the thing is that India has a clout uh, amongst the major powers. There is no doubt about that. And Pakistan is fully conscious of that. But uh, notwithstanding that, the fact remains that the major powers cannot close their eyes to the reality of what is happening. And they have an, an obligation at the international level to also see to it that such gross violations do not take place. Uh, otherwise, you know, the international law uh, will become meaningless and the United Nations Security Council will become ineffective. As it is, uh, it is fairly ineffective. And uh, if they do not act and do not uh, try to see the situation and take measures and at least pass resolutions, uh, I, I think the world would be highly disappointed and the people of Kashmir then will have no other option but to continue uh, with their struggle and it could lead to something more serious. So I, I, I think there are many implications if the UN Security Council does not take this matter seriously. And let's talk about those implications because Pakistan's foreign minister has said uh, what India has done may have dangerous implications. What does that mean? Well, I think what he is implying is that, you know, these are neighbors uh, which, have, which have a very strong conventional capability. They have a strong, uh, they have also nuclear powers. And then the line of control is very active in the sense that, uh, you know, Pakistan blames India, India blames Pakistan. And, and you know, it is always very active, the line of control. Uh, and uh, uh, the matters can get out of control. Uh, so I, I think that is very important to understand that uh, with such uh, close proximity to each other and both being uh, both very strong conventional and nuclear powers, it's very important uh, that they settle the matters at the political uh, level uh, instead of sort of, uh, uh, you know, trying to sort of